Sumipampa, located in Peru, is a promising project operated by Dynacor and is one of the latest discoveries in a country rich in minerals. This is a map of South America. The brown area represents the Andean range. As you can see, between Peru and Chile, there is a deflection where the range is wider and deeper, thus creating favorable conditions for ore deposits. More than 50% of the world production of copper comes from this productive region, and Tumipampa is located here. Likewise, Tumipampa lies between two important belts well known in Peru, the gold-silver belt and the copper belt. That is why Tumipampa has those two kinds of mineralized zones. In the copper belt, there are giant mining projects, just to mention a few, Los Chancas, Las Bambas, Constancia and Tintaya, operated by important international companies such as Southern Peru Copper Corporation, MMG Limited, Hudbay and Glencore. In the gold-silver belt, there are important gold mines operated by Peruvian companies Buenaventura and Hochschild. Dynacor has claims covering 4,866 hectares. Surrounding Tumipampa, there are many companies and there is no land left to be claimed. In the north, you have Bear Creek. In the east, Buenaventura. In the west, Southern Peru Copper Corporation. In the south, Meridian Gold and Barrick. This is the tri-dimensional view of the Tumipampa project. The brown area represents the scarn which is four kilometers long. Recent exploration allowed us to discover a porphyry system in this area. The red lines indicate the veins and the disseminated area is located here. As you can see, there are high grades of gold all over the property. In this part of the scarn, where no diamond drill holes have been carried out as yet, there is noteworthy evidence of mining activities from colonial times, such as this chimney 12 meters deep, where they used to produce high grades of gold and copper. In addition to that, we have more evidence of colonial mining in vein A, the Esperanza vein and the Escondida vein. There are also massive loose rocks resulting from the outcrop of the veins. For example, this rock revealed 8 grams of gold per ton. There are also old stockpiles close to the river, giving evidence of intensive mining activity in the past with high grades of gold. In this area, there are six important veins. The Manto Doral, Vein 1, the Porvenir Vein, Vein A, vein B, and the Rosa vein. These veins were explored in three stages, in 2001, 2008, and 2011, using diamond drill holes. The most relevant results revealed 20.2 grams of gold per ton, 8.2 grams of gold per ton, and 12.25 grams of gold per ton. As you can see, these results were so encouraging that we decided to explore and develop these veins in depth with a crosscut in 2013. This is the entrance to the crosscut. It is currently 683 meters long. From this crosscut, we have developed three important structures the Manto Doral, the Manto Nazareno, and the Lisa vein, with drifts and raises. This led to the discovery of high grades of gold. For example, the Manto Doral, a 26-meter drift, revealed 27.83 grams of gold per ton, over a width of 1.5 meters. From this drift, we built a 65-meter raise, which revealed an average of 21.88 grams of gold per ton, over a width of 1.18 meters. This average includes channel samples of 76.2 grams of gold per ton. In the Manto Nazareno, we've carried out a 31-meter raise, revealing 8.87 grams of gold per ton over a width of 1.46 meters. 
In the Lisa vein, we have developed a 5 meter drift, revealing 16.11 grams of gold per ton over a width of 1.94 meters. Because of these encouraging results, we will continue developing galleries, chimneys and diamond drill holes from the top of this crosscut in order to find out the potential of these structures in depth. Now we will show you a cross section which cuts the Skarn porphyry system and the vein area. According to this cross section, there is a close bond between the porphyry system and the vein area. Because the porphyry is, in fact, the feeder of the ore deposit. That leads us to believe that there is great potential of finding ore along the length of the 2.3 kilometers that unite the veins to the porphyry. It gives us great pleasure to provide this information to our investors and which augurs a great future for our company as it will allow us to publish Tumipampa's first 43101 resource calculation. To conclude, we will explain the promising disseminated zone. In this area, you can see veins, mantos, breccias, important faults, and exoscarn near the Tumipampa anticlinal. All of these have important anomalies of gold on the outcrop. Because of its geological complexity, this area could be the richest in Tumipampa. In addition, these expectations are confirmed by the geophysical study. The gold anomalies discovered so far are related to the chargeability anomaly. There are six important geophysical anomalies. Likewise, according to the geophysical studies, there are great possibilities of finding ore bodies in depth underneath the high grades of gold related to the breccias, scarn, and faults. And that makes it feasible to explore these promising targets with diamond drill holes. It remains for us to say that the outlook for our company is promising and the future looks very bright indeed.